polymerizations. Polymerization is one of the additions reactions. It is one of the additions reactions. Uh, but in some book, uh, it is separated from additions reactions. Okay, then we call this another reactions. Uh, we, uh, we assume that it's another reactions called polymerizations. And if you still remember, we have learned this in uh, form four, last chapter, polymer, right? So polymerization is a process to make polymer. It's a process to make polymer. So let's see uh, how how this reactions occurs. Uh how this reaction occurs. Let's say we have an alkene, uh, ethene, ethene, okay. Now let's duplicate this, okay. So from here we can see that we have a few alkenes molecule here, right? Okay, let's say before this, we have a lot of alkenes molecule, and then there are uh, five alkenes molecule here, right? And there's a lot of alkenes molecules after this. Eh? So we can add this alkene into this alkene, and then we can add this alkene to this alkene, eh? this alkene to this alkene, and this alkene to this alkene. So what happened is that uh, under certain uh, conditions, eh? Like for example, it's a uh, 200 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 120 atmospheric, uh, standard atmospheric pressure, okay? Uh, so under these conditions, the double bond, the double bond of the alkenes will be broken. Uh, this one. So the double bond is broken, eh? So under these conditions, the double bond is broken. Eh? Okay, so from here we can see that. But after the double bond is broken, then let's check the number of covalent bond for each carbon. Eh? So we have one, two, three. Okay, this one also one, two, three. Okay, and we know that every carbon, it should have four covalent bond, right? Four covalent bond, eh? which means uh, we can add something into this carbon eh? because it only has three covalent bond, right? Okay. And uh, the only thing that presents is the uh, another alkene okay which also uh, lack of one covalent bond so what happened is that uh, this uh, alkene will be added into this alkene okay so after they combine together then it, uh, this carbon has one two three four four bond this carbon one two three four four bonds okay so it becomes stable here and this alkene can add to this alkene uh, this alkene so then it becomes something like this. So this happens to other alkene, eh? and also this. So, so the, all these alkenes they were joined together. They joined together and then form a very very long chain. Okay, so this is a long chain. Eh? It form a very very long chain, and this is called a polymer. This thing is called a polymer. Uh, polymer, and each unit, eh? each small unit, here. Initially, this alkene, right? Okay, so do you still remember what's the name for this small unit to form the polymer? What's the name of this small unit yeah, that form the polymer? Monomer. Yes, this is called a monomer. So actually, we have it here, the monomer. The monomer is the ethene. The monomer is the ethene, and this monomer, they combines together form a very very long chain, a big molecule. And this big molecule is called polymer. Yeah, it's called polymer. So this process is uh, polymerizations. Uh, polymerizations for alkene. Okay, alkene. Uh, usually we do polymerizations to ethene and propene. Yeah, ethene and propene. And if we use ethene as the monomer, then the polymer that form is called polyethene. Yeah, polyethene. And the condition for the reactions is 200 degrees Celsius, pressure 1,200 uh, ATM. Eh? This is used to make a uh, plastic bag. Okay, This polyethene eh, is used to make plastic bag. So the plastic bag that you use almost every day eh, is polyethene. But anyway, this is not the equations. Eh? This is not the equations of the reaction. Because sometimes in exam, they may ask you to write the equations of the reactions. Eh? The equations of the reactions look something like this. Huh? We write N, 
and then it's 18 and 18 and means a uh, number of 18s okay but we don't know the number and uh, after the reactions uh, then it will become something like this so you just draw the monomer uh, just draw the monomer and then put a bracket put the brackets okay uh include these two bond eh? okay include these two bond and then put a small n here put a small n here and uh this is the equations of the reactions n 18 after react uh then we draw the this structure okay you can see that this this structure right okay. so we just draw one of the monomer just draw one of the monomer and then put a bracket and then put an n here to denote that this structure repeat for n time if n is 1000 then this structure repeat for 1000 time eh? uh, then this is the uh, equations okay you need to know this eh? because in exam they may ask you to write the equations of this uh, polymerization then don't write this eh? don't write this this is not the equations eh? write this this is the equations of polymerizations Another one is a polypropene. Okay, poly, polypropene. Now, for polypropene, we use uh, propene as a raw material uh, for this uh, polymerizations. Okay, so we have propene. Okay, we have propene. Uh. One thing, uh, okay, students, when they ask, they are asked to draw this polypropene, uh, okay, or they are asked to identify polypropene. They don't know how to draw. So let me show you how to draw. Now, first, you draw this structure. This and this. Don't draw this first, okay? Don't draw this first. Eh? Draw this and this. So, uh, one carbon here, okay? Uh, the H. H. Okay, now this H uh, is this hydrogen. Uh, this hydrogen. And then so this is a single bond. Single bond. We have two hydrogens. Uh, one up, one down. And another two bond okay put the brackets and then so this is, we have let's say we have n propene eh? so then we have this n here so you see eh? i draw this one first and uh leaving one uh one covalent bond eh, for this so after draw this eh? uh, then only you draw this this is a ch3 okay and uh, for the ch3 actually you can just draw a bond and then write ch3 now this ch3 is this eh? is this so this is polypropene okay this is polypropene eh? so let me erase this okay so that is how we draw a uh, polypropene eh? so let's compare this with polyethene eh? polyethene similar right look almost the same eh? okay almost the same this is polyethene eh? polyethene this is polypropene The only difference is this hydrogen, sir. This is hydrogen and this is CH3. This is hydrogen, this is CH3. That's the only difference. The other structure is uh, is the same. This is, we have a N, N here. So polyethene, polypropene. So that's the difference. Sir. Okay, so the monomer that we use is uh, propene and then the polymer is called polypropene and the condition is still the same, okay? Still the same. Eh? But this one is to make plastic. Just now polyethene is to make plastic plastic bag right this is to make plastic like plastic chair huh? plastic chair so this is uh polymerizations of propene eh? polymerizations of propene so uh, i think we can erase this uh, can we put this ch3 here yes yes or you can put it here or here it doesn't matter but usually you will see most of the book or in exam they will draw it here huh if you draw it here, it's not wrong. Okay. If you draw it here, also not wrong. If you draw it here, also not wrong. So this is the conclusions. Okay. This is the conclusions. If they ask us to draw monomer, then just have to draw propene. Okay. Sometimes uh, they may ask you to draw the monomer, the structural formula of the monomers of this polypropene, and then you just draw propene.